Yeah. This is crazy. Right on time. Woo. My goodness. I was going to have to deal with a sticker. Now I don't have to. Oh, man. That was crazy. Yes, it is. So here it is. I left work just in time. This is how it arrived. A few little spots on the box. Should be okay. Should be. Look at that. All right. Ooh, I realize I have two boxes though. Look at that. Let's see what that's all about. All right, we're going to get them in here in the garage. And then put them all together. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. It'll be wonderful. Man, that was so lucky. I was about to have to go back. Woo! And chase this thing down, but I'm glad I didn't. All right, very good. Oh. All right, all right. So. I got myself a brand new toy. I bought it before my wife knew about it. So it's kind of one of those things she's gonna have to deal with. I'll apologize if I have to, but hopefully I don't. Hopefully she'll like it too. Maybe she'll want one also. I have purchased a Fazari Signal Peak. Now, let me, a little backstory. I've been bike riding for about 20 years now, kind of seriously, um, but I've always been a Trek guy. I've always had Trek products. Um, I've gone through many different mountain bikes, road bikes that are treks. I've got my wife into um, road biking, a little, not really mountain biking. We both do triathlon, so we have multiple treks. And I've got my son here. Here he is, come on. This is JT, that's right. And he has a couple of treks also. And anyway, so we're, I wanted to try a brand new uh, brand. And this is what we're gonna go with, Fazari Signal Peak. Let's see what this is all about. So we're gonna open this thing up. You ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, so this is the boxes. It just came in today, which you already saw. And I'll be real careful not to cut myself. And I'm gonna be real careful not to cut myself. And I'm gonna try to get the staple out with the key. All right, hold on. Okay. <laughs> here it is. That's cool. All right, watch out. Let's see here. Let's be careful. The reveal. Let me take these sunglasses off so I can see. Oh, that's nice. JT, what do you think? I like it. You ready to show everybody? No. You not? No. Yeah, all right, here we go. We're going to do it anyways. Hold the box down. Hold the box down. Oh, if they can't see it, pull that off the front. Oh, 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 oh it's screwed on. Let me turn it around. Show you how it's packaged. That would be that. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, something Very good. Something wow. So they're supposed to have built it custom for just for me. So this bike should fit me perfectly. We'll see. All right, so I'm gonna put it back and um, it we'll start like taking it apart. You don't think it'll fit me? Too small or too big? Too small. Think it's too small? All right, we'll put it back in here and get the other. Oh, those are ginormous wheels and they're hard enough. Oh, you got a nice little backpack. All right, that's good. Some stuff in, I'll show you what's in that in a minute. Hopefully those some are tools. Those ginormous. You ready? Yes. Hold them down, hold the box down. Pull the box out. All right, that's how they're packaged. Yes. This is ginormous. Ginormous. Check out that cassette. It's a giant. Ooh, looking good. It's a giant. All right, I'm excited. So we're going to get a little bit close-ups of it and start putting it together. Hope you've enjoyed this. Let's do it. All right, all right. So here we are. We're in the living room. We've got the YouTube channel going up there. That's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, so we got that going on, and here's the bike. This is how they gave it to me. And what I've noticed first off is it's got a little unboxing tutorial here, a little QR code. So JT, we're going to hit the QR code like you always like to do. Yep. Are you ready? Yes. Let's see what it does. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this going here. Mountain bike unboxing. Tools needed. Four, five, six millimeters Allen wrench. 
Okay, so the tools needed, you need a four, five, six millimeter Allen wrench. Got it. Check. There we go. And a shock pump. Check. And we need a torque wrench. Check. Cheap, but it'll get it done. All right, let's see what's next. All right, part two is pretty cool. Maybe excited, unless that's weird. So what they've done is they've made the box in a way where it, watch this, I'll just, I'll, I'll just let you pick or decide what it's saying. But it's gonna become your, take that, just see a little bit right here. Roll this down, slide that through there. Take me a sec. Other side. I don't want to bend it up too bad. Whoa, a little bit. It's not right in the middle. I don't know if that matters or not. All right. So there. Then you're supposed to take your bike and boom. You got a table. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Check it out. See how it's holding itself on there. So this is what you're supposed to do. I made a table for you. Out of cardboard. What do you think? That's, that's pretty tough, huh, JT? It's out of cardboard. <laughs> I, I bet it would burn pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, cardboard will burn fast. All right. Let's go to the next part. Plus the styrofoam. It's... Okay. So part three, JT, help me out. All they want you to do is remove these little black pads all the way around. And they're Velcroed on. So JT, help me out. Let's remove you these. Remove the ones on the box? Yeah, you don't need to worry about those. Just these right there and keep the little Velcros. Those are pretty nice. Yep. Start removing okay. those. That's right. There's some on the derailleur and the chain. And there's some on the steering wheel. The steering wheel? <laughs> <laughs> steering. Your handlebars. There we go. I don't see a way to take this one off. It probably is a way. There, I feel it down there. Oh, it's down there. Let's, let's leave those together right now because that's going to cause a piece of it to rub together. So it doesn't tell you exactly every one of them to pull off. I guess you just go around and try to leave that one there too. Those are kind of holding things together. So there's that. All right, we took some of those off. We took exactly three of them off. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so the next one, they want you to just undo the derailleur right here, which I'm excited about. This is the Eagle derailleur, which is supposed to be a lot more sturdy. That's the best way to say it, and reliable. And I really like that. It's losing a derailleur in the middle of the woods. Or, oh, that's awful. Okay, so that, that was not too hard. Um, maybe we can move, remove this too. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and take these off. Alright. Actually, I may, I'm going to leave that because it just said derailleur and that's wrapped up around there. Okay, let's keep going. Nice. Look at that. That is cool. The Eagle derailleur. It's got a little oil on the chain already. All right, next part, part four, he said. Okay, so they gave me a video, or the video, it said there's an extra box in where the wheels are, but there was no extra box with my wheels. All there was was this bag, which was really nice. And in it, this is everything that was in the bag. You know, just little knickknacks and things. All right, so we're gonna find out if what we need is in this bag and they just didn't put it in a box. So that's something to know. Okay, so the next step, I'm supposed to attach the derailleur to the hanger right here. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. I don't see a bolt to, to hang it with. So anyways, we gotta get this off to do that. All right, here we go. We got the scissors. That's out of the way. And that's off. Okay, good stuff. And the derailleur should go right there. I think that 
looks right. You see the bolt, buddy? Where? Is it actually in there already? I think it is. Yeah. Looking pretty easy so far. I'm just going to do it finger tight with that. And that's that. Okay, let's see what it looks like. There, there you go. So that was the next step. Boom. All right, we're going to do like JT said. Let's take that off. Yeah. All right, so we got that off. <laughs> it actually took a second. It's got this little piece right there. They didn't mention it yet. Maybe we'll just leave it there until we watch the video. All right, let's get after it. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is take this fork eye off. Okay, got that out of the way. Here's one on the bottom. I guess that's not really hurting anything. I mean, it wants us to turn it to the so the faceplate is up. Okay, handlebars are in the way just a tad. That's okay. Whoa. And faceplate is up, and now we're taking this off. All right, let's do it. All right. Well, that's pretty easy. It's not on there too tight. It's easy so far. Not hard at all. There's a race that T got through over there in an Xterra. Pretty cool. You should check out those videos. Those are fun videos. Those Xterra videos on the Next Adventure channel. I got to do a race. JT did two races. Mama did some videoing. She's got a half Iron Man that she's doing um, this weekend. Anyways, here we go. Let's roll. Okay, so now all it wants us to do is just go ahead and pull out these handlebars. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Hope nothing falls or gets scratched. Come out, come out, come out. This needs to stay up. Well, kind of twisted and tied in there, it looks like. Well, there we go. I'm supposed to go up here like that, maybe. And... All right, here we go. And put it just like that. That looks a little odd to me. I feel like that should be... Yep, a different... Like, maybe like, mm -hmm. figure out these handlebars. Can I help? You can help, yeah. What, what, what do you think? That doesn't. I think it goes like this. No, it doesn't go like this. All right, let's figure this out and then that. we'll get back to it. Like that, maybe. No, because this. Those wires need to be in the front. All right, let's figure it out. All right, so I twisted the fork the wrong way. That's what I did. Maybe it told me to twist it the right way. I don't know, but you can figure it out. Just don't start jamming everything everywhere. That's right. There we go. So that looks the way like it's supposed to go. All right, very good. So now let's put the face, the face plate on. Okay. Very good. All right, next up, we're taking off the cardboard box and we're gonna put it right down there. It's gonna be good. So I had two little straps to undo. Oh, it looks lay too it small. down. It looks too small for me, doesn't it? It does. All right, give you kind of a look. Upside down right here. Yeah. Now it's time to put the front wheel on. So here's the front wheel. And I have always used a skewer. I've never used a through axle. That's kind of cool. And uh, so this will be my first experience. Hope everything goes well with that. I'm gonna take this off here. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. 
It's not coming off. It's not coming off. Just pull as hard as you can. I <laughs> know, it feels like I'm gonna pull as hard as I can, but sometimes when you pull on stuff, you break things. Yeah. There you go, and it came off finally. All right. And the brake, there's supposed to be a, a piece in there, but there's not a piece in there to pull out. Brake. Give you a closer look to that. There's nothing in there. It's supposed to be a piece right there. And here is my through axle. And so I've got to use a Allen wrench to remove it, but it's coming out with my hand. <laughs> I guess I'll need it to. There we go. Boom. That's going to be different. I wish I had that in my last race. That would have made life a lot easier. So I'm just going to stick that in there. Okay, it's sitting right where it needs to be. And then... Now it's starting to look like a bike. It's starting to look like a bicycle now, isn't it, JT? Let's yeah. see here. Oh, yeah, there we go. And there we go. So it's in there. Let's see if that's the right size. Nope. Let's find us a different size out of the wrench. There's a whole bunch right there. This is the right size. Yes, it is. So boom, boom, boom. I'm not going to do it down too tight right now. There we go. There it's in there. I guess that's it. Wow, that's pretty good. Very good. I bet we do the, se the second tire now. Oh, the back tire. What do you think? I like it. Looking good so far? Yes, it's starting to look like a real bike now. <laughs> All right. Now it is time to put the back wheel on it. And it doesn't say this in the instructions, but there's a little zip tie right there. I know it's gonna have to be removed, so taking that out of there. And then we're gonna put this back tire on. Now it says you gotta remove this skewer. This one's got a little round thing right there. Let's remove the skewer. I guess you don't call it a screw skewer. I have to get out of that lingo. It is called a through axle. You know why they call it a through axle, JT? Because it's an axle and it goes through holes. There you go. I'm doing this right or not. That's kind of weird. Oh, maybe it goes the other way. Okay spinning but nothing's coming out all right i'm gonna figure this out maybe we gotta do the other side let's see nope all right i'm gonna get back with you i'm gonna figure this out okay so i figured out you really got to stick the allen wrench down in there pretty far start undoing it on one side and it comes out the other side yeah, so boom. And we got it out. Very good. Now we just got to get this chain on and the wheel in there. It's going to be good. All right, so here's the real wheel. The rear wheel right there. Tomorrow you'll have to test it out. Oh, yeah, we'll test it out tomorrow. And make sure both. Boop. And make sure both. Yeah. Look at the brake on this one. There's nothing stopping the brake on that one. Okay. Aha. So, took a second to line it up, but it's lined up. Let's see if it's going to start screwing in. Maybe not. I think I have to keep whittling with it. Let's keep whittling and see what we can figure out here. All right, so we're getting it going now. It's getting drawn in, getting tight on there. It took a second though. Whoa. And then it just came out the other side. It was going and now it's pulling it back out. All right, let me figure this out. 
All right, so that took a second, but we got it on. Let's see. I uh, feel it. Maybe it's right, maybe it's not. Let's figure this out. Take that off the floor. Thank Unscrew you. this cap right here. All right, we're just gonna pump up the fork, and it has right now nothing in it. There's <laughs> no air in it, not at all. All right, just pumping up a fork. <laughs> Get back with you in a minute. All right, so what's pretty cool is they have how much you're supposed to inflate it for you on your QR code. So for me, 126. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So packaging tutorial, unboxing tutorial. There's more to this card than just a QR code. There's actually two different ones. So anyway, so I've got that pumped up to 100 and um i'll add a little bit more here in a minute all right last thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna take off covers on this on the handlebars okay looking nice looking nice all right so it's all together. Man, it's too late to go for a ride. But we'll get back to that in a minute. Watch this, JT. Awesome. Oh, yeah. That one does it too. That's right. It's right. It should be able just to go right on down. Very cool, very cool. Also, can you tell how many gears it has? I'll let you know. Let's see here. It's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I counted right. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps somebody build their own Fazari Signal Peak. We're gonna get out on the road on another day. Thanks for watching. How do we count to make sure you?